Uh. Hi. Before this wedding thing comes along, let's talk about this honeymoon after the wedding. Oh, um, alright. So, where do you want to go? Hmm. Somewhere that's, like, hot. You know, like Hawaii or the Bahamas. Somewhere like that. Alright. <laughs> Since I asked you to marry me last night, I forgot about the ring giving scents. I believe that they are completely pointless unless the wedding has come. But since it's only for you. Yeah, I'm hoping I got your size on it, but we can take it back. <laughs> it fits me just fine. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just I'm just so excited. Uh, I can tell. I love you. Love you too. You ran a dress shop now? Yep, I opened it a year ago and um, I gotta say, it's been successful. That's amazing. I gotta tell my sisters about that. But anyway, it was nice seeing you again, Angel. I'll see you around. Bye, Opal! <laughs> Thanks for coming with me, dress shopping page. Hello, ladies! Welcome to Angel's Angelic Gown and Dress Shop. Hi, I'm November. It's uh, nice to meet you. And this is my friend, Paige. Nice to meet both of you. Hey, wait a minute, November? Aren't you related to Sid? Oh, uh, yeah, she's my cousin slash stepsister. It's complicated. But, uh, yeah, I prefer cousin, so, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> nice to meet you. But you know her? Yeah, I'm Angel. I went to school with her. We just kind of drifted apart a little bit, but yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. She's just been through a lot, but I'll tell her that uh, you said hi. Um, anyway, yeah, we're just here looking for a gown because, um, I'm engaged. Oh, <gasps> congratulations! That's awesome! Well, um, let me just tell you, um, we have bows over there. I uh, have a basket of necklaces back here. And over there are a bunch of gowns. Not very professional, I know, but... Um, we're gonna be, you know, organizing and getting more shelves in so the gowns could be displayed more, uh, nicely. Oh, that's completely fine. Thank you. No problem. Just look around and let me know if you need any help. <sighs> you know, I never thought that I'd be getting married in my life. I mean, yeah, I'll wear a classic white wedding dress, but I need some red in it. Same. But yeah, let's look at this dress. Wait a minute. Paige, did my brother? Yeah, he did. Congratulations! Thanks. You're welcome. And I know you'll take care of Wesley while I take care of Stefan. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go find a dress. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's good. Uh, and I think I found the dress and I got the accessories too. I'm ready to show you guys. Oh, okay, go ahead, come on out. Ready? 
We're ready! Well, uh, what do you think? You look great! You look absolutely beautiful! Thank you. Yeah, this is definitely the one. I say yes to the dress. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get you checked out. Alright, just give me a sec to take all this off. <laughs> hey Paige, can you come help me? Fellas, my name is Oliver, and this is Oliver's Sweet Suit and Tuxedo Shop. If any of you boys need help with anything, just feel free to ask. Anyway, enjoy your stay. Thank you. So, you popped the big question. Yeah. That's awesome. And, uh, I did the same with Paige. Well, let me tell you something. You heard her. I am not afraid to put you five but feet underground. And the same goes for you with November. Exactly. Anyway, a tattoo guy that looks like Alex. Uh, what's your name? Acom Miles. Um, stuff with trying. Yeah. Okay, nice to meet you. I'm Wesley. Nice to meet you too. Anyway, we gonna find ourselves in Texas or what? Yeah, yeah. Everything okay, boys? Oh, yeah, we're about to get started to look. Alright, well, if you need any help, I'm here. Thanks, Oliver. No problem. Alright, come on, guys. Hey. Hey. Come sit. What? I thought what would be nice since our wedding is soon. I got you something. Stay here. I got you an engagement ring, too. Thanks. <laughs> I'm so excited. Well, you are. I am not. Because I hate shopping at people. Hey. It'll all be worth it in the end. Whatever. Get some sleep for this wedding, baby. I love you, Stefan. Wow. Oh, Lord, I never thought I'd be entering this joint. 
I've never been to one either. <sighs> I would say something bad, but this is a church, so I can't disrespect. Hello. I don't mean to be intrusive to your conversation, but I just had to ask, it's your first time at a church? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, I am religious. It's just, i never really been to one because of things I've been through, but um, no offense, that's not really any of your business. And I can't really speak much for this guy. Ah, uh, but that's quite alright. <laughs> we welcome you into the house of the Lord. Um, so, I am the priest, and I will be marrying you two. Are you Stefan in November? Mm-hmm. Yes, we are. Uh, well, it's really nice to have you guys. Uh, congratulations on your engagement and your marriage, too. Now, um, I will be over here waiting for my signal, and I uh, hope you guys have a lovely day. <laughs> she was very nice. But, yeah, um, well, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> See you. <sighs> I can't believe this is actually happening. What's up? Nothing, it's just... I'm remembering that I'm getting married, and my mom isn't here, and I've always wanted her to walk me down the aisle, but that's not happening. I didn't have anyone walk me down either. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, it's not a huge deal. Yeah, but... At least my brother will give me away. He's kind of the only guy I really trust with this. Okay. <sighs> I do look beautiful. All right, I'm ready. Oh. Hey. Hey. You okay? Mm-hmm. Hey, don't cry. Come here. It's gonna be a good wedding, I promise. I know. It's just... I always wanted Mom to be here on this day, but she's not, so... It, it kind of hurts me. I know how you feel. And hey, it, it's gonna be the same for me too when I marry Paige. Whenever that day is. But it's gonna be okay. And remember, I'm here. I'm doing this for you. I'm giving you away to Stefan. And maybe you can give me away to Paige. I promise I'll be by your side when you know, she gets married to you. Congratulations. Thank you, but this is your day. It's all about you today and Stefan too. And if you're gonna cry, you better be happy tears, not sad tears. With everything we've been through, I'm proud of you. And I know how I always feel about Stefan, but he's treated you well, so. As long as he continues to take care of you, and of course, uh, I continue to take care of Paige, everything's gonna be okay. You're right. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. Hey, I'm your big brother. It's the least I can do after many years of stuff that we've been through. <laughs> Come on. Okay. You doing good? Trying so hard not to cuss in a church building, I am doing so well. I am never coming back in this joint. Give you about 15 minutes.
Again, you're welcome. No. Once again, hurt her, you're dead. All right? And as for you, remember that I'm always here for you. Call me if you need anything. <sighs> Thanks, Wesley. And I know I don't say this much, but you are one of the greatest big brothers a sister could ever ask for. <laughs> Thank you. All right, um, enjoy yourselves. All right, I think this is a perfect time to get started. <clears throat> Dearly beloved, we've gathered here today to celebrate the love between Stefan Johns and November Rick in holy matrimony. If anyone has any objections of these two getting married, speak now or forever hold your peace. No one? All right. The lovers may say their vows. November, you first, dear. Well, um, when I first saw you, I didn't know what to say. When you saved me the first time, I just thought I'd never see you again. But here you are. <laughs> Stefan, you may be a jerk to many, but I can see the good in you. And people think I'm crazy for being with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but even though you may not see it in yourself, Stefan, I see a smart, protective, pain in the butt, but caring, loving person. That's what I see in you, Stefan. Call me stupid, I can see that look on your face. <laughs> but it's true. I don't care about all the bad things he told me about you. You are here, and I am here, and I love you. All right, that was lovely. All right, Stephen Johns, your vows. Correction on that notice of saving you for one, two, three, or more times in a row. You keep coming through my house every minute of the day, with my perverse self. Even though I am saying that you are hot as always, I know people like to talk badly about me, but knowing the bad things in people's lives, like mine, yours, and uh, <clears throat> somebody's only my girl. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? <laughs> But I do love your looks and very attractive body in bed, but you're the best thing I would have in the bed with me. Mm hmm When we do have a wedding love celebrate. I also remember the one time when you met, you ran into the wall. Oh, God. <laughs> and you hit your head on it. And all I could do was just laugh. When she did that... And all I could do is just laugh when she did that. However, I adore you, November. <laughs> I adore you too, Stefan. <laughs> well, you have a comedic way with words, Stefan Johns. But anyway... Let's get to the point. Do you, November Rick, take Stefan Johns to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, richer or poorer, in sickness and in health as long as you both shall live until death do you two part? I do. And do you, Stefan Johns, take November Rick to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, for as long as you both shall live until death do you two part. I do. By God and the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. 